Hello and welcome back to On Your Beauty. Today's video is going to be a review of two eye creams that I've been using of late. The Drops of Youth Eye Concentrate from The Body Shop and the La Roche-Posay Redemic R. So my morning eye cream and my nighttime eye cream. I'll start with the morning one. So this retails for £19 and you get 10, 10ml for your £19. It has a little roller ball and you press up here for the eye cream to appear on the roller ball and then you apply it around your eyes. The roller ball is supposed to stay cool at all times. I'm not sure if that's true, but it's quite nice and refreshing in the morning to help depuff the eye area. Um, this is aimed at sort of hydrating the eye area and eyes appear less tired, appearance of bags seems reduced and um, it smooths the appearance of lines around the eyes. So, I'm not really sure it does anything for the lines around my eyes, to be honest. I haven't noticed any real improvement using this. Even when I was using it morning and night when I was snowboarding for a few weeks. Um, I used it for a few weeks morning and night after that. I didn't really notice any massive difference in the wrinkles around my eyes. It is nice in the morning to help, um, as I said, deep puff and just cool around your eyes when you're waking up. And I tend to get tired eyes. So if I'm not wearing loads of makeup, um, I might just sort of apply this around my eye, you know, on really hot days or if I'm staring at a screen a lot, I can get red puffy eyes because I think ever since I had my eye surgery, uh, my eyes have been a wee bit more sensitive. So having something like this is quite nice. But again, only when I'm wearing very little makeup because I can then just blend it all back in and it's fine again. But yeah, this is quite a nice product. I like the rollerball, even if it is a little bit gimmicky. I have been able to get out just the smallest amount and you don't need very much though. So Oh, hair coat and earring. Um, so I squeeze a little bit out and I'll do one eye at a time. They recommend doing a figure of eight. I don't like doing the figure of eight because I tend to get blemishes here when I did that every time. So I just do it around my eyes and then do the second eye and then I'll tap it all in with my finger and just rub it in and give my eye area a nice massage while I'm there. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not sure if I will run out to repurchase when it does finish up. You know, it's it's a bit expensive for what it is, I think. It is a nice hydrating eye cream and I don't really tend to get dry patches when I'm using it because I tend to get them here at the edges of my eyes where my eyes leak. Um, but I don't tend to get those as often. But I have been noticing that my milia has been increasing or it's just not going away anymore when I have been using this product. Normally when I've been using the Redermic R with another eye cream, it has been reducing and clearing up. But it's just not shifted when I've been using this eye cream. So... I don't know if it's the best product for me. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll repurchase when it does go, as I said. But for now, it's nice. It's a nice gimmick. And especially in the summer, it's quite nice having that cooling rollerball around your eye. Now, in the evening, I have been using the La Roche-Posay Redermic R for eyes. And this is in a little tube. And this retails for £24.50 for 15ml. And it has 0.2% retinol in it, which is sort of proven to help with the signs of aging and with wrinkles and things like that. So, you only need a tiny bit of this as well. You don't need much of either. They're both quite thin consistency. So they're more sort of a hybrid between a gel and a cream almost. You know, it's not thick like a cream. Um, it's more like a lotion-y, I suppose, that kind of idea. They're both quite thin in consistency, but they spread really nicely and they absorb really nicely and all that. So they're very nice. Um, yeah, I take a wee bit of this at night time after I've done my toners and I'll dot it around my eye. And then I will use my finger to just blend it in and smooth it in and give my eye area a nice massage, especially at night time. At the end of a long day, it's lovely to give your face a bit of a massage and I make sure I do it with this as well. So that's nice. Um, as I said, absorbs really nicely. I haven't noticed any adverse effects. I haven't noticed a massive improvement with my wrinkles with this. So again, I'm not entirely sure I'm going to rush out to repurchase when I use it up. Um, I do enjoy it and it does seem to help with my milia, as I said. So I think I'll finish this one up just because I don't like to waste it and make sure I continue using this of an evening until it uh, is finished and maybe get a different morning cream because I'd say this one is definitely almost running out. Possibly. I've had both of them for a while and you can't see with this one, so I'm not entirely sure how much is left. Um, but this one, you only need a tiny amount and I'd say I've got another, quite a, at least a month or two out of this still, I reckon. Um, obviously, don't use some uh, retinol 
cream or anything or treatment in the day because the sunlight breaks it down I believe um, so it makes it much less effective so you don't get any benefit from using it morning and night so maybe just stick to using it at night which is what I've been doing with this obviously and in the daytime use the sunscreen because it makes your skin more sensitive so those are the eye creams both a bit underwhelming good for different reasons so this has been good at hydrating my skin but no other real effect from it and this has been good I think when I use this with a different eye cream I've noticed more benefit from it um, it's just getting a good morning cream as well as a night time cream but I have I have noticed the most difference when I was using this I've been using this actually longer than this when I think about it it just got sidetracked for a while and then I came back to using both so but when I use this my skin does look a bit better I noticed it because of this so I can attribute this to helping a wee bit with my skin looking less wrinkly but I don't know maybe I need to find a better one I think so I'll be checking out Wayne Goss he talks about various retinols and things like that so I'll be checking out what he has said on them as well as Caroline Hirons of course so those are my reviews I guess sort of chat about the products they're okay nothing to write home about with either of them I'm unlikely to repurchase them in future but possibly with the Redermic I'll see how if I get on with a different eye cream a different eye combination um, because I think they're kind of fighting each other a wee bit so maybe not the best combination there on you uh, if you have any questions on the products mentioned please let me know down below I will list their links down below and the review etc so you can have a closer look at everything and hopefully this was useful so if you have any questions, please let me know. As I said, thank you so, so much for watching. Please like if you like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you have an eye cream that does help with eye wrinkles and things and you know it works and it's okay for sensitive skin, please let me know down below. I should have said that sooner, but do please let me know down below. Thanks a million for watching. See you in the next one.